Hello and welcome to the October 2023 flyover for Tiahua Tauranga, Manawatu Tararua Highway. My name is Sam Jakes, I'm an engineer on Bridge Street Eco Viaduct. Starting in Zone 1, construction has started on the Western Roundabout and work has also started on the main alignment through this portion. You can start to see the shape of the main alignment heading over Bridge 1 and the approach to Bridge 2, Patahaki Bridge. On Bridge 2, they have ticked off several major milestones since the last flyover. The first section of superstructure has been completed with the land span, uh, which you can see just above the southern abutment there. The first form traveller has been installed on uh, Pier 1, and the first segment has also been poured there. The form traveller is seen on Pier 1 as a system that hangs formwork from the existing structure and allows the concrete segments to be poured. As the segments are poured, the traveller itself is shifted forward and allows that next section of segments to be cast. Pier 2, the pier table is progressing rapidly. Uh, the bottom flange of the pier table has been poured. The final column has been completed at Pier 3 and the ground improvements have also been completed at the north abutment in preparation for the north abutment construction to, to commence. Now flying over Bridge 3 Eco Viaduct, all columns are now completed uh, for the bridge, all 12. Another span of girders has been installed at the south since the last flyover, uh, with the remaining 12 girders due to be installed prior to November. Concrete panels are also starting to be placed from the north abutment heading south in preparation for the first portion of deck to be poured at Bridge 3. The MSC walls at each abutment are also progressing well. Flying over Phil 9 now. Pavement construction has started through this area uh, with the first layers of lower subbase being placed. Stabilising trials have also occurred through here, which involves mixing cement with the aggregate to improve the overall performance. The landscaping team has just finished up for their season. On the left and right, you can see areas adjacent to the road that have been planted this season. Um, 300,000 plants were put on the ground on the project with the one millionth plant overall being placed as well. You can see through here aggregate being placed using bottom dumpers. Uh, the bottom dumper allows the aggregate to be spread without segregation and should allow for a more consistent pavement. When placing with traditional truck and trailers, the aggregate can become split out so that you have more large aggregate in one area and fine aggregate in another. The bottom dumper tries to eliminate this. To the right, you can see work continuing on wetland five, which is a permanent wetland designed to treat runoff from the road. To the left is an attenuation basin, which will capture water from the batters. Now flying over cut 13, this cut is complete all 2.2 million cubes of it. Overall on the project, we have now ticked over 6 million cubes of earthworks completed, with less than 250,000 remaining. Network drainage is also progressing well. Four kilometres have been placed, with a total of nine kilometres to be placed over the entire project. The machine you can see below us is a grader. It's currently doing the final trim on the main alignment to prepare it for a handover to the pavement crews. Many sections of the project are now having their subgrade prepped prior to pavement construction commencing. Out to the left is spoil site 25, which is one of the areas we place unusable material. This will eventually be landscaped to blend into the environment.
We're now flying over fill 13. This has been a crucial fill for the project and a key link between zone two and zone three. Since the last flyover, this fill has come up more than 10 meters and have less than 50,000 cubes to go to a completion. This fill was particularly tricky and required a staged approach to allow stormwater to still flow under the fill. Now flying into zone three, you can see on the right hand side the pavement aggregate stockpile. We're stockpiling the bulk of the pavement aggregate on site to try and limit the overall truck movements on the surrounding roads. We're now passing over bridge five, Tiapuri underpass. Work either side of this bridge will continue in the next coming months and will be traversed shortly by the earthworks team so they can finish areas adjacent to the structure. On the right hand side, you can see a pathway forming into the hillside. This is the site of the Tiapiti Wind Farm viewing platform. There will be three of these areas along the road. As we move through zone three, just a reminder about some of the main details of the road. It will be 11.5 kilometers long with two lanes in each direction and a roundabout at each end. The road has six structures, 28 major culverts and a shared user path. Earthworks through zone three can be particularly challenging through the winter uh, due to the weather conditions and the wind. Flying conditions recently have allowed them to make good progress and to continue placing some fill. We're now approaching cut 25, the last major cut on the project. This cut has less than 100,000 cubic metres remaining. Material is being transported both to the east and the west to finish the remaining fills. We're just flying over bridge 10, which is an underpass constructed to allow access for the landowners. We're now flying over fill 18. The culvert beneath this fill has now been completed and allows the Earthworks team to finish the remainder of the fill. This is the last major fill on the project. Out to the left, you can see vehicles driving on the saddle road. When the highway opens in mid 2025, you will see a major reduction in the vehicles using this road. Flying now into cut 28. Work is continuing here with network drainage being installed. Down below on our right, a wetland is soon to be constructed and another culvert to be installed through here as well. Stabilising work is continuing on the batters. These batters are made up of parfum material, which is a sandstone. Below on our left, you can see a major stream diversion that takes the bulk of the catchment from Cut 28. At the top of the stream diversion, you can see a concrete structure this is an impact structure. It's designed to absorb all the energy of the stormwater coming through the culvert above it. This is to limit the velocity of the water coming out of the culvert to try and protect the stream diversion below it. Laybacks have now been completed on cut 30 uh, to improve batter stability. To the left, where the machines are parked, is an area we call Spiky Knob. This will also be the site of one of the three viewing platforms. Here in Field 20 North, most of the earthworks are completed. You see a sediment retention pond on the left, 
Many of these will start to be decommissioned once they are no longer needed. We're now approaching Bridge 7, Mangamanaya String Bridge. Excellent progress has been made here in the last month. The western abutment has now been completed, with the MEC wall also being completed on the east, and the eastern abutment due to be constructed shortly. Concrete Super T beams are due to be placed on this bridge before the end of the year. Excellent progress has been made on fill 22 through here, which leads out to the eastern roundabout. Fill has now all been pushed right out to Woodlands Road in preparation for the roundabout construction, allowing drainage works to occur as well as services to be installed. That's it for the October 2023 flyover for Te Ahua Turinga, Manawatu Highway. Thanks for joining me today.